What's up stock filmmakers? Welcome to another creative income episode. Today we're going to talk about the hottest topic of the moment in the stock footage world, which is black box. I'm not going to compare one company with the other. They're partners after all. What I will is to compare the black box way to the traditional way, which includes selling your files online through Shutterstock, Pond5, Adobe Stock and all the other stock agencies. <laughs> Blackbox is such a hot topic in the moment. The founder, Pat McGowan, said that in the last two weeks, the number of users grew six times. If you prefer to read more about it, you can check my last article, where I'll cover what it is and why it's conquering the whole stock footage market. Before I start, I want to thank you guys for all your comments and the subscriptions. This project is growing way faster than I ever thought and this is all thanks to you guys. And I also just launched the Creative Income blog, which is a place for all of us to learn together so we can discuss a little more about the stock footage market and also the stock photography market. Really, I, I would love if some of you guys would like to write some articles over there. And if this is your first time here in Creative Income, this is the channel where we together learn as creators how to achieve financial freedom through our creativity. Right now we're focusing on the stock footage and the stock photography market and I'll be really glad if you could subscribe and if you could leave your comment below because this really keeps me motivated to keep doing this. Alright guys, so now let's talk about black box. Founder Pat McGowan said that stock footage is just the tip of the black box iceberg. We can talk more about that later. Let's stay with the stock footage part. So it's basically a digital platform that connects video creators and creators and upload their files to four stock agencies at once. For stock filmmakers, this means you are now free to do what you really like to do and what you're really good at. And you can leave other users doing your keywords and metadata. This is also an opportunity for editors and copywriters to work on other users' files and get a share of their income. What I like in Blackbox is that it's not only attracting the old experienced users, but it's also opening doors for a lot of new users to work on this. And though there's a big hype around Blackbox right now, I do believe you have to carefully take your decision if you're going exclusive on Blackbox or if you're still going on the traditional way. Both ways are free to register and you can do it on the links below which are also in the description. To help you take your own decision so you can know which path you're going to follow, I prepared this, this comparison which is made of 8 points. Editing, color grading, writing metadata, all of this while you're trying to fit the requirements of the stock agencies. This is a hard and tedious work and it gets hard if English is not your native language. And I could clearly say that this is the biggest advantage of Black Box because it makes you free to focus on what you're really good at. On maybe, in, in your case, shooting footage or maybe on your case editing or maybe even writing key, keywords and metadata and descriptions. So instead of losing time working on things that you are not good at and things you don't like to, now you're free to go and do whatever you like to and let other users do that. This of course is up to you and you can choose what kind of help you're going to take from black box users. I'll tell you more about this later. I've been working on my own multi-agency spreadsheet for a long time. And no matter how good it gets, the whole process always takes several hours. And that happens because each agency has its own way of doing things. The categories names, the maximum of keywords and the file formats are just a few given examples. And that struggle alone makes Blackbox worthy of our attention. As for today, Blackbox submits your files to four major stock agencies. So if you check my other video where I bring you my 2017 earnings, you will notice that three of these were my most profitable agencies. Of course, new agencies might be added at any moment, so check my article to get the, the most updated info. Subscribing to Blackbox is totally free and you can do it right now, but there is a rate of 15% on your net sales. You might also earn a smaller amount depending on the shares negotiated with your creators. I'll give you an example to make this more clear. So, on a $100 clip sale, where the stock agency is going to take 60%, this is going to change accordingly to each agency. On this example, you will normally get $40. And this is where Blackbox takes its 15% commission. So, instead, you are going to get $34. So, if you decide to get the help of a creator, 
you are going to split, uh, and this is what we call a share, based on this $34. So, and this really depends on how much you negotiate, because you are really going to negotiate this. If your curator is gone, going to take care of your metadata, Blackbox recommends a share of 20% rate. So every time this clip sells, 20% of the income is going to this curator. If you need full curation, which means someone is going to write the metadata for you, but also edit your clip, then Blackbox recommends a share of 40%. Once again, you can negotiate this. At this point, I know that some of you might be thinking you would make more money if you go alone. You may be right in some cases, but let me do some questions to you before. Do you still have files on your computer or hard drive that are still waiting to be edited? Do you think you would get better metadata if someone else writes it for you? And do you believe you would get better looking files if you let someone else edit it? So if you answer yes to any of these questions, you're probably losing money right now. Um, the same happened for me. I noticed that I have a lot of files on my computer that I was just waiting for a day to come where I would have some hours to, to take care of them. So think about it. Maybe it's better to get a smaller percentage of income from your files than to get 100% of nothing. There is also the power of collaboration. It's, it's good to remember that once we're generating content as a group, we're going to also get better rates from the stock agencies. Given that we're all contributing at the same black box profile, you should probably get better search rankings for your files. That means your footage will probably appear on the first line of results and consequently, you're going to sell better. It's the size of our portfolio as black box community that makes every member's content more searchable to buyers. So as I just said, we're all contributing under the same black box profile. This means your name is not going to appear on any of your files. You still own the rights for your files, but they're going to appear under the black box profile. I feel people might see it as a downside, but let, let me be honest, are, is Shutterstock really the social media you want to be famous? From my point of view, there are many files that I don't really uh, am proud of, but they still sell, so having them under the black box profile is sometimes even better for us. And since you still have the rights for your files, Use them on a YouTube video, maybe a Vimeo video. The platform is under constant evolution, but it might be a little complicated for beginners in the stock footage world. If you want a better understanding of the Microsoft market, I suggest that you also subscribe to Shutterstock as a contributor and try to upload a few pictures there. This is going to give you a better overview of the whole market and the process. Shutterstock has a very user-friendly process and interface. It helps if you're still beginning on this to understand how it works. I really see this as a temporary downside because Blackbox is sending weekly updates about improvements they're doing. So really, I really think this is just the beginning for Blackbox. We still have a lot to see ahead of us. As of today, Blackbox is only allowing stock footage contributors. Uh, there are signs that stock music may come soon, but no signs about stock photography. If you are a photographer, I still suggest that you give it a try to stock footage. You will probably raise your earnings by doing that, and it probably can be done with the same equipment you already have. Alright guys, these were my 8 points of comparison between Blackbox and the traditional way, and I hope this really helped you taking your own decision. Most of us contributors will prefer to move to Blackbox just because of its time-saving capacity. Having my files keyworded and uploaded to four agencies at the same time is really a dream come true. I do understand the guys that prefer to do it the traditional way and manually submit their files to, to the stock agencies so they can avoid the 15% Blackbox rate. But I still suggest that you, you guys give it a try. Uh, it's too early to tell if it really improves search ranking by uploading it to Blackbox. It's too early to tell that. And this is something that I would like to hear from you guys. Did you see an increase in the number of sales? Did any of you delete all your files on Shutterstock to put them again on Blackbox? I'm really curious about that. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to Blackbox or Shutterstock, you can do this on these links below. By using these links, you help me grow my recognition. So I really appreciate if you use those links. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.